Hi everyone. I hope you all are doing well and have enjoyed your winter festivities as much as I have. As a little token of appreciation for all the subscribers and all the views and all the support I've gotten uh, since my channel has started, I decided today I'd do something a little bit more fun, maybe a less sciencey, but more uh, explody. Well, fiery, I guess. We're going to be making green fire today. Now, green fire, in my case, is going to be made of trimethylborate, and we're going to need to produce this in a small scale. To do this, you're going to need heat. Uh, my heat was from the dollar store because I'm cheap. Uh, borax, um, which is going to be sold at Walmart under well, borax. You're going to need a heat-resistant bowl. Uh, in my case, it's just a stainless steel bowl. You're going to need to add the borax to the bowl and crush up any large clumps that have formed. Next, you're going to need to add the methanol directly into the bowl to dissolve some of the powder and create trimethylborate. Now, the amount of methanol you add is proportional to the amount of trimethylborate you make. Um, however, I didn't have a lot, and I wanted to do about two or three runs, so I only filled it up just enough to cover the powder. Your next step is going to be simply to swirl the mixture until an adequate amount of borax has reacted. Now, there's no set reaction time that I followed here. I simply swirled it around until I felt that there was enough trimethylborate in the solution to burn it to produce a green flame for a long enough amount of time to capture. Before we start burning the trimethylborate, let me show you what happens when you burn pure heat. Uh, it should produce a faint blue color when you burn it, and this is a reason why we chose methanol. Because if we add too much methanol, it won't really affect a nice green flame. And also, at the same time, we need our methanol to produce trimethylborate. That is why it is imperative to use methanol other than isopropyl alcohol or ethanol to perform this reaction. What I did next was decant a small amount of the solution into a pickle jar. This allowed me to show the flame from the side view, uh, and it was just really cool to do. Uh, the rest of this video will just be shots of me playing with the fire in increasingly idiotic ways, things that I cannot stress enough, do not try at home. Once more, I would like to thank you all for being subscribers, and if you're not already a subscriber, you know, you should do that. It. It's fun. Makes me feel good. Higher numbers are better. Um, I would like to thank you all for viewing and being along for this half a year ride. I have a few more videos I'd like to get out before January starts, however, time permitting, I might not be able to do that. So, again, uh, enjoy the video, and thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.